I don't know when this became my favorite angle. But it was definitely before COVID. <laughs> and it hasn't changed. <laughs> and now I'm thinking about the time when I first started doing these stupid videos. When I had an intro. And the intro would have come right after that statement. Hello, here we are. What even is time anymore? Here I am with my childhood stuffed animal, Lukey, hanging out on my bed on April, technically it's April 29th, but we're pretending it's April 28th. because that's how time in these videos works. I've had a lot on my mind recently about what the hell I got myself into at the end of February. <laughs> when I expanded the possibility of being able to pursue a relationship or even just like talk honestly about who I find attractive, who I feel safe with, who I would rather end up with at the end because I told my parents I'm bi. Like when I did that, the possibility of COVID affecting my life seemed very far away. And then it happened. And I just got to this place where suddenly it kind of feels like The whole year of being 26 is just going to be this. Like, I'm kind of at a point where I'm just wondering, like, when I'm going to hug my parents again. And there's... Not seeing your parents by choice because, you know, you're in another country for a semester abroad or just traveling or living there for a job or something. And then there's not seeing them because, you know, you're just far away and it's expensive. And then there's this where... They're two and a half hours away. <laughs> and you're just stuck. Not, not being closer than that. <laughs> I was telling my pastor on Easter that when I said I wanted to be here for Easter, I didn't quite mean it like this. When I said I wanted to distance myself from where I grew up and cut some people out of my life, I didn't mean I wanted everybody cut out of my life physically. But here we are. I'm getting to the point where I don't know who I'm supposed to become 
and the person I am right now, I like a lot, but nobody gets to know her. And a lot of times it feels like I'm getting cheated out of the first year of being out to anybody because besides like three people, I only get video chats and phone calls and text messages. Like celebrating my identity is virtual only. Like, do I get a, I, do I get a redo? Do I get my first year being out next year? Is that it? Do we just reset everything? I don't want to go through all that stress again. But can I get, like, the positive emotional release that comes from finally being free of something that you've been carrying for such a long time? Because I got to carry that for real. Like, with people for two weeks. Two freaking weeks. And then I got, I got here. It's hard because it feels like that shouldn't be so just such a heavy thing for me. Like then I feel guilty because people are dying. And here I am, in my safe little apartment, crying because I can't kiss a girl. <laughs> Also, emotions are valid, and denying myself a portion of grieving the loss of whatever the hell I was supposed to have, I feel like that there's got to be something to that, right? I feel so selfish. That I can't deny feelings I have just because they're selfish. And that's where I'm at every day now. Just wondering. Wondering what it would be like if I had gotten actual year and wondering what it would be like if I already faced my parents in person because I don't know what that's like and I don't know when I will Sorry if you were expecting this to be a positive conversation, because it sure isn't. <laughs> I, just, I don't have the energy to make it positive. I guess... Pff, I made dice. <laughs> I made gay dice. They're not even for me, they're for a friend, but I made them. I don't know what the hell I'm doing.